I'm Natalie Bomke. Let's jump aboard Sky Fox now for a look at the storm damage from above. Our chopper flew over the damage zone and you can see multiple homes there. Wow, with roofs blown off, garage doors blown out and trees down across the area. We mentioned it earlier, but we're getting lots of reports of power outages and you can see why. Damage throughout the suburbs. We're talking north, west, and south, although uh, it looks like most of the damage is concentrated in the southwest suburbs. Uh, we mentioned the garage doors, which is very interesting to see because if you recall our storm force report on tornadoes, experts told us garage doors are actually the weak spot in your home where uh, the damage can happen. And you can see one of those garage doors blown out there. And they said, you know, reinforce those garage doors. Make sure you get a strong one if that's something that you're concerned about uh, being in the path of a storm there. We talked with a professor from NIU earlier tonight about the exceptional conditions that we experienced today. It's not hard to get 12 tornadoes on a given day across the United States, but when you focus all those in Northeast Illinois specifically, that's pretty rare. We're going to end up likely with a tornado within one mile of both Midway and O'Hare Airport, uh, which is unusual to have tornadoes in both locations. And when we spoke to him earlier, he, he predicts that we're going to see tornadoes of the EF0 to uh, EF1 kind of values, which of course is based on wind, wind speed. He was saying luckily they won't be stronger than that. To give you an idea, an EF1 tornado, we could see wind speeds anywhere from 86 to 110 miles per hour. So can you imagine if they were stronger than that? Corey and Dawn.